cut our slot and we've chamfered the edges, it's time to drill some holes. And all we have to do is put our T-Rex connector into the slot, center it on the beam, and we like to put a little witness mark. Just mark a little mark on the wood and a little mark on the connector. This is going to allow this connector to always go back into this beam. Once we do that, we put a screw in here to hold it, keep it from jumping around on us. And it's time to put our drill, drill uh, jig on. And what this does is this allows us to put the holes in the proper location and it keeps them aligned straight. Uh, this is part of our system. We have various sizes. Uh, some have two holes, some have three. The bigger connectors have three holes or three pins. So we'll put this on the end of the beam. Here again, we center it. And we go ahead and drill. They'll spin these bushings. So you clean the flutes often. And you just drill down until you feel it hit the aluminum. And that's it. We don't drill through because we found it's much easier to drill them out on the drill press. You get these nice curly chips coming off. Uh, and we don't typically do one beam at a time. We'll usually set up five or six on the sawhorses and just move right along. So it's, it's very quick and very easy to do. So once the holes are drilled part way through, take the drill jig off. We remove the we remove the T-Rex and we take it in and we drill the holes through the aluminum on a drill press. It makes it much easier than trying to go through in the beam.